Andy Secor here from Make Shots Basketball Training. Part three of our series on what I analyze when I'm looking at a shooter is what's the bottom third look like for, so for hips all the way down to your feet. So here's Tommy Gregor from Granville. So actually just gonna start today's video with a quick look at a slow motion of how Tommy steps into the shot, the width of his feet when he takes off as well as the direction what does his bottom third look like when he's at the apex of his shot? And then where are his feet when he lands? So those are the topics today as we look at number three, alignment of width and feet at the starting, middle, and end position. So I really want to focus on these three things today. Number one, as much energy and momentum as we can get in the direction of the rim is good. And any energy momentum that we create away from the rim is something we're gonna to have to compensate for somewhere else. Does that necessarily mean every player has to be 10 toes to the rim at the beginning and the end? Not always, as some of that alignment depends on the type of shooter, that uh, the different characteristics of that shooter, but 10 toes is often better than not having 10 toes uh, for majority of shooters. The second thing is width and balance equals power. We know the impact of a strong stance from a golfer, an offensive lineman, a hitter in the batter's box. Wide and strong creates power and balance for accuracy. And then last, my challenge to players is always, are you disciplined enough to fight for balance? The game of basketball puts you in so many different positions, going left, right, off the dribble, off a curl, off a flare. And it's easy to just let your body fade into those positions. Can you fight for balance? when you need to, to make a shot. You know, that 17 foot fadeaway looks really cool when you make it. You know what doesn't? The next five times that you miss it. You know what's really cool to me? Winning, making a lot of shots, making a game winning shot to win the district championship in front of 2000 people. You're gonna take some off balance shots for sure. However, make sure those off balance shots are dictated by the defense not by you making the shot a lot harder than it has to be based on a lack of discipline. So looks at, let's look at a couple of examples of really good balance. So here's Allie Carlson here um, in, on a transition break. You can see as she comes down and stops to really good width, and as she jumps, lands slightly forward and lands to pretty good balance. She doesn't swing way through into here. She doesn't finish left, she doesn't finish right. Even though she's on a full speed pull up, she gets to a good balance taking off point um, right when she goes to take the shot right there, um, even though the defender's there and she follows through and lands to a balanced position. Um, so even though it's on a full court fast break, she fought for balance and just didn't let her momentum take her away from the shot. Here's a good example of Jillian Brown making a half court dribble move. So you can see she attacks into the lane, step back to pretty good balance, right foot a little bit forward um, versus her left foot, which Jillian is a little bit right of center shooter, so that's pretty consistent for her. So she made the dribble move, and even after the dribble move, stepped back to good balance. Your James Harden step back doesn't have to be three step backs to your feet touching each other, but she has good balance, she has good width, and then even after the shot, she lands to balance, um, which is even harder to do after a step back. So there's a good example of a player starting from balance and finishing balance there with Jillian. And then here's Maddie Petrulia from Hudsonville, um, trailing the play here um, as she hunts a three in transition. And as she walks in left, right, right to a good balance position, you can see her lower body is ready to engage and jump through her hips. Um, and even though the defender's there, she jumps and lands right to her spot. Doesn't fade left, doesn't fade right, gets right down to that finishing spot. So three good examples there of three players who all really in different positions off the dribble or off the catch and shoot fought for their balance. Um, people always ask me what my best balance drills are. Steve Nash uh, jumps are my best balance drill. We also have a fight for balance drill. Uh, contact me if you'd like those. I can send you personally those quick videos and you can start doing those Steve Nash jumps at home. There's just a few thoughts on balance in the bottom third today. I'll be back next time to talk about shooting hand and elbow position 
at the two spot.